we're going to be watching a clip from the head of AWS and how he thinks the future of programming will be natural language. So let's go listen from the man himself. The programming language of the next decade is not going to be the traditional way that we've been writing code. It's just going to be natural language. You're just going to describe what it is that you want the system to do, and it will interpret it automatically. And that's an incredibly democratizing and incredibly exciting opportunity to reinvent every product and process. Incredibly scary for most developers because I know it freaks them out, which is why I get hate comments on this topic all the time. But I don't give a shit because I don't, it doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is the truth and what's going to be happening moving forward. So it's a very scary time for people who are set in their ways, have been developers for decades, and are now basically going to get dethroned because somebody else can do their job. But for people who are excited about this opportunity, I'm a developer, I'm excited because I'm like, oh, oh my God, I can build 10 times faster. That is absolutely incredible. And people who are, 99% of the people who don't know how to code in the world, 99.9% .9 of the world doesn't know how to code. That part of the world can now come in and build things. So if you're a nurse and you've been wanting to switch into programming, this is the best time. If you're a truck driver, you drive Uber or you you do whatever, right? You, you, do, you Instacart for people. Uh, you Uber Eats for people. You are uh, IT tech support. You're a product manager, you are, you're a UI, UX designer. If you're any of these people, this is the most fascinating and interesting time to get into programming because you can write natural language, meaning English, or language of your choice, and you can build things fast. Let's keep going. Cool. So watch out. Mendix local platform supercharged with AWS AI and generative AI. Awesome. Matt, thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you very much. It. Thank, thank you. you. Mendex AI, that sounds interesting. Let's take a look. Okay, mendex.com slash platform slash AI. Build AI augmented solutions with AI assisted development. So this is a enterprise software. They're saying they're going to release it to the whole world, so we'll see. Hmm, try Mendex for free, interesting. So we'll try this as well in, in a second. But let's keep going. Harness low code and AI to elevate efficiency. Build some applications smarter, build smarter applications. Interesting. Okay, AI assisted application modeling and logic. Ah, show survey once and then do something. Okay, so workflow, it's almost like how some of these tools are like bot press where you can build a workflow in your bot with kind of a point, uh, point and click UI interface. That's nice. I think it's gonna make coding a lot faster. Cause yeah, when I'm coding on like low code platforms, they make this so much faster for you. A lot of these things so much faster. AI automated validation logic, okay? Validation bots tap into pre-configured expressions to automate the otherwise manual and repetitive, repetitive task of setting up data validations. Interesting, that's great. Generate validation microflow. Okay. Now, the only thing is, it's like AWS. So I'm not that excited about it, honestly, because AWS, I just hate their platform and everything just feels so, like the, the experience just feels filled with friction when you're trying to build something AWS. At least that's been my experience. I just avoid it. To me, it feels like a nightmare. Like if I'm trying to do something, I got to set up like a server, then I got to know like if it's going to be in the Ohio region or where am I going to put it? And then I got to start coding it up. So whenever I'm trying to come up with a new idea of something, this is the last place, AWS is the last place I will ever go just because they give you too much control and I don't want that. I just want to like write code and build stuff. And so personally, I will go with um, Fi uh, Firebase or Superbase or anything that makes my life a lot easier to get started with. And, uh, you know, G Google Cloud also is, to me, feels way easier. Achieve AI-driven operational excellence. Okay, so what's happening here? Mendex is the only low-code platform. I like that they're making it low-code. I like the direction they're moving. With the versatility to facilitate AI slash ML integration with both external, cognitive services, and embedded ML models. Okay. Cognitive services. What do they mean by this? 
easily connects to any third-party services to interact with models. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So seamlessly integrate with ChatGPT, Google Bard, and Amazon Bedrock, which I've never heard of. What the heck is Amazon Bedrock? Let's check it out. Interesting. The easiest way to build and scale a generative AI applications foundation models. Uh huh. Interesting. Generative AI is delivering entirely new experiences and driving greater <laughs> levels of productivity. I hate these fucking corporate videos, man. Oh my God. Activity, unlocking more potential for innovation, transformation, efficiency, and productivity than we have seen since the earliest days of the internet. Organizations of all sizes are already building with generative AI and seeing the excitement of- Shit's so cringy. This <clears throat> way to build and scale generative AI applications. Amazon Bedrock is a fully managed service that offers leading foundation models along with a broad. Just show me how it works. Holy. F okay. <clears throat> so they're clearly not going to show us anything, right? Choice of models. Okay. Amazon Titan. That seems interesting. Okay. So it does something. We don't know what the fuck it does because they just won't show it to us. And uh, yeah, but it clearly does some type of generative AI, probably similar to ChatGPT and Google Bard. Okay. Or use additional AI services from, okay, awesome. So yeah, so basically ChatGPT would become like this integrated thing into AWS, which is cool. All right, great. So this is what Mendex is and that's the future uh, you know, of what they're talking about. But overall, I think I just wanted to share that clip with you guys, right? Where it's about natural language, where programming is heading to where you're writing in English or you're writing in Spanish, whatever your tongue is. And then it's doing all the magic and building out the application for you. And so this is where I believe the future is headed. This is where I believe all of programming is going to be headed. And whether that happens in the next year or five years or 10 years, it will be happening. And so if you want to be a part of the future and you want to do this and you want to be able to make an income from doing this and you want to be somebody who is irreplaceable, then what I recommend is check out a free training that I've put together on this. And that free training covers how do you use ChatGPT and AI to build these apps and how do you build apps quickly, okay? And in that free training that I've put together for you, I also give you three SaaS ideas that you can use and build right after you're done watching that video to actually monetize and even make money with coding and AI. So if that sounds interesting or exciting, click the link below and watch that free training and I'll see you inside. Peace.